Hey there. Today, I want to share a few thoughts about what we learned in the lead up to India. So it was the summer of 2012. There were a group of six of us. Five of us were architects, and I was the only one who wasn't. I had just finished my volunteering project building super adobe structures at the South Bank Center. And uh, we had raised tens of thousands of pounds from local architect firms in London to go and design and build classrooms for children with special needs. And there was this really pivotal moment where one of the Norwegian architects said that he was very uncomfortable about the project unfolding. I, we had a contact in India that uh, we were speaking with who was running one of these schools. And Alex was asking very specific and reasonable questions of this contact and wasn't getting specific and reasonable answers in return. And that made him feel uncomfortable, rightly so. I was incredibly unexperienced and naive at the time. I didn't have a basis of prior project experience to judge the circumstance. And so I kind of just went with the flow. And Sophie, my wife, and her amazing optimism really encouraged this uh, Norwegian architect that everything was going to be fine. And it was just cultural difference. And actually, you know, this contact that we had was totally reliable and we could really trust in this relationship. And so uh, we all went, but we went as two separate groups as a result of this divide that was created. And I was very fascinated to see the dynamics within this group change as we started basically competing against each other. We were no longer collaborating. We were trying to outdo one another. And uh, it turns out that this Norwegian architect was absolutely right about his instinct. There was something wrong in the relationship. The complete lack of specificity on behalf of our contact in India became a serious issue. Everything was very abstract. Everything was very big picture. Nothing was concrete. We couldn't rely on the word of our main contact to do this work. And we'd been given significant sums of money to go out and do this. There was so much pressure. We had a small amount of time to deliver. We had to both design and build in a developing world, a context which most of us hadn't experienced before. And looking back now, I realized that actually there was a choice that we made to uh, rest in satisfaction with the ambiguity that was being uh, that was arising during this discovery phase of the project. And now knowing uh, a lot more about projects, especially with my design mentor, James Box, I know that ambiguity is a signal and it is a sign. And I wish I would have trusted that sign and that signal. I think things would have gone very differently, but we didn't, we pushed through it. And uh, it was a really hard experience. I'll share more about our time in India in another day. But um, it completely rocked my world. Uh, several factors, A, the project collapsing, B, my wife catching typhoid and nearly dying, C, I had loads of personal stuff going on, and it all converged at the same moment in the lead up to the 2012 election. Uh, and if you know me and my personal story, you know that is a really pivotal moment in history for me. I'll share more about that uh, maybe tomorrow. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of encourage you as you were venturing out into new activities, new projects, to trust your instincts and to listen to those senses of uncertainty and uh, that still quiet voice that might speak to you and say, something's not quite right. If you hear that, <laughs> you should listen. Give it space to arise and see what speaks to you. I encourage you to trust that wisdom that comes to you in silence and in stillness. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll look to catch up tomorrow. See ya.